My name is Jesse Evelyns. I'm from Wellington, New Zealand, and I'm a skateboarder. One of my good friends came back from the United States with a Plan B skateboard, and I'd never seen one before. All of a sudden, um, you know, saw skateboarding videos, and um, that made us want to venture out. So, you know, would ask our mums if we could please go to town and that. <laughs> you know, they'd never let us. So I remember one day, you know, we, we snuck off into town. It was just so cool to be in the city. You know, we'd just go down the waterfront. And, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool vibe down there. And especially for a little kid, you know, you think you're on top of the world. And we just thought it was like, oh, this is so cool. Like, we found this place, but, you know, we were young. Like, the more we went to Bury, like, the more uh, skaters would see. And you'd, you'd learn about those skaters, you know, there were people like Glenn Wignall, Bernard Fu, Roger Plimbot, you know, Joe Funger, like, all these older dudes, and you end up uh, idolising them, so, you know, would make plans to go to the Bury just so we could watch them skate. The Bury, I still skate it to this day. The tea's amazing. <laughs> What's your bet? Oh my god! <laughs> it's solid on the bat. Is it? Yeah. Oh! Dude. And this beanie, bro, I could probably just go. Let's go. Half of my skateboarding is. It's all influenced from my friends that I skate with on a day to day basis. We've got dudes like Joseph Fungo and Kevin Francis who back you 100%. You're right, bro, you're right. They'll just say certain things that spark your mind into thinking that you can do it or pursue it. Um, and that's a massive motivator to me. Your commitment there, bro. Their background, the people look up to them, and ever since a little kid, I looked up to them. So, yeah, like, I do. I thank well, a lot of my friends. They're the ones who keep me going and keep me skating. Winning New Zealand skating, yeah, uh, yeah, that meant heaps to me. But I'm one of those people who I don't like taking a lot of credit for things, which is bad. But. You know, I'd always handle situations really bad because people would say, oh man, congrats, mate. And I'd, like, and I'd act real shy about it. And I still do, but like deep inside, I'm stoked. Like, of course I'm stoked. The underground spot pretty much uh, it came about because we'd have nothing to skate in winter and it was too cold. You know? Even with gloves and that, it's just too cold. So. Um, we managed to get a bench into underground and that just became our winter spot. We'd go there most nights of the week. The trick that got me on death is quite a funny story. Um, we were at this rail in Ponsonby and um, the back of nose grinded it. Like it took ages, but I, I managed to pull it off. You know, from uh, the homies encouraging me. But, uh, you know, Shea Tario was there, and, and uh, yeah, I think that impressed him. You know? And we were leaving that night to uh, go back to Wellington, and he asked me if I was keen to ride for death. So my conclusion is that I did that trick, and he was keen. 